of like, my friend is in trouble and I got to, I, it's not my place. So I, I agree with you now. I have watched, would you like my predictions for the future? Cause we have to fix this somehow now okay. from the clips and you could disagree from the clips of what we have seen. I think we could agree that the solution is not to reconcile. It's not happening. Teresa. No, this is no. over. This is over. It's over. Guys. Teresa this is over. and Melissa. Okay. This is over forever. So as we know it, Real Housewives of New Jersey will never be back no. in the form no. that no. it is. It's not happening. I agree. It's over. The show is over as we know it with Melissa and Teresa. Now, <clears throat> this is going to be a tough conversation, Kim. Now you weigh in. Let me get my thoughts out. Get I thoughts see out. two things happening. This is my opinion. And sometimes I'm right. A lot of times I'm right. I think... One solution, which is the lesser of the two drastic solutions, is at the end of the day, look at I, I stand by what I said. They don't want to get rid of Melissa. Otherwise, they would just do it now. But I don't see when your name is on a whiteboard, because then they remove a name and they're like, well, what if that? Was, <laughs> and what if that? I believe whatever combination you put up on that whiteboard, the only thing that makes sense to me is that Margaret and Melissa are losing their jobs. Think about it. We're not going on pause to bring this show back and have it be anything similar to what it is now. And I know what you say about Margaret, but trust me, time, you would have said the same thing about Lisa Rinna a year ago. She was the whole show. And let me tell you, Kim, Beverly Hills is wrapped. We have, 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 have you heard of any Aspen related drama like that? No, we're going to have a nice little Gar Garcelle says it's old school. That means we're going to be fighting over wine and Ozempic shots. That is what Bravo wants to do to reset it. And we have Denise Richards apparently brings drama. I mean, how much drama could Denise Richards fucking bring? Right. We're gonna, it's over. There's nothing coming on Beverly Hills. There's no Kathy. There's no Rina. We're going to have a nice little chilled out season. That is what they want for that's you have to reset it and then we can get wild in four years again, but to reset it for the future, you can't have Margaret Joseph's there. Melissa is not the only you when this comes back, if we get rid of Melissa and Margaret, it's if it's good. They don't want to hear about Margaret having shit on everyone and shit on Louie. And I know I agree with you that no one's thrilled with Louie. They do not want next season to be the takedown of Louie. They want next season on RHONJ to be, yes, it's to your point. I know what you're going to say. It's never been light. Well, it's going to be a lot lighter. And they don't want a takedown of an international scandal of this man and deep, dark secrets and business deal. That's not next season. Nope, nope, nope. They might have a lawyer involved and Louis might have. They want the old school, like we're fighting over God knows what at the Jersey Shore. That's what they want. And that does not include, this has nothing to do with my feelings on Margaret. I have no feelings. I'm dead inside people. This is just- what That's I your predict. opinion, right? That's what your prediction. This is, only, I get this is only prediction one, that the only thing that makes sense of how to go forward is to get rid of Melissa and Margaret. And of course, Jackie and Jen Fessler as well. Oh, hands down. And, and can I'm I not going to make something? a prediction. I'm not making a prediction yet. I'm not. I'm going to just say, okay, That's, fine. That's good. I no predictions for me. I yet. just want it on record. And by the way, when I ran into Jackie at the Glad Awards, please, Jackie, don't be sorry that you spoke to me. It's so funny because like, Look, one thing, this is, I'm making this up. Jackie is not, but I just think, listen, I said it before. Like if you are, I don't even know if I said it on here. If you're sitting there and you're like the only one being fired, you're not happy. If all your friends are being fired that day, <laughs> Jackie was so happy at the, I mean, look, Jackie's not a dumb woman. And it's so funny. Cause like, I told you last time that Jackie was saying like, you know, I don't hate you. I couldn't hate you over housewives. It was just, right. the I was, I forgot to tell you that I, I mean, I, I gave myself like a two out of 10 on the drunk scale. I gave Jackie like maybe an eight. I think maybe I was more like a five. Maybe I'm giving myself, Okay. but I kept saying to Jackie, you, I believe you don't hate me, but guess what? Your fucking crony over there does. I, yeah. I, like, I was like, your, your, your friend over there does. And she's like, well, you know, Margaret does tend to take things a little more seriously than me. I'm like, oh Jackie, my God. Jackie, girl, like there's no tape recorders here. Like, just be honest, a little more yep, serious. A little more. But that is my prediction. Now, I have a bigger prediction. You better sit down. 
I'm sitting down. Are, are you sitting down? This is I my am. prediction for what also could happen. Now, this is going to depend on two things. The ratings from last night's Teresa's special and the new rebooted Real Housewives of New York. That okay. is very crucial for the future of New Jersey. They're going to okay. wait to see how the Real Housewives of New York does in the ratings. Based on how everyone's talking, I ain't sure it ain't going to do so well. But they're going to watch that. Now, what I think they might do is you have two gifts. You have a gift named Danielle and you have a gift named Rachel Fuda. Now, let me tell you how I got to this. Looking at that trailer and seeing I the, the, the way that Cabral and Fuda go at each other. Yeah. To me, this is so evident that this is what you do. You take those two girls, young, 30-something, you fire everyone else, every single person. Bear with me. Bear with me. And you build the whole future, just what you did with New York, except it's harder when it's all new people. Right. You had no one you could have kept. I think they're given a gift on a silver platter that these two women, everyone says they don't care about them. You care about them more than six newbies that you don't even know. They build the whole show around Cabral and Fuda. Everyone else loses their job. And that is the New Jersey Housewives going forward. Not that they want to do that. I know you're shaking your head. Wait, wait, please let me finish everyone. Please let me finish. I know you're shaking. You could, you could have your moment. And that's now, the New Jersey Housewives. Now, I have good news. I have good news. Teresa will then get her own show. I'm basing this on what I saw last night. I saw so many things being set up last night for uh, the, Teresa getting her own show. Now, I've got to check the ratings, which I bet you they're great. Now, this show... And I'm, I don't know what you're doing after this, but you need to, you're going to get in I'm your car. I'm going to see Funny Girl. Okay. Well, before you see Funny Girl on the way, I need you to stop over at Dolores's house on the way. Because <laughs> you have to, you have to tell Dolores, I got a message for Dolores. Now, Teresa's spinoff, we can call it Love Bubble, will be her, Louie, the four daughters. We're going to have the parents and the sisters. They're going to be uh, not the main characters. And guess what? I have good news for your friend Dolores. Dolores and Jennifer Aiden are keeping their jobs. Well, there's no question about they're that. They're keeping their jobs. Yeah. I could not believe. And then Margaret lose it's the same people lose their well, jobs. Well, here's my the only prediction I got is I believe Dolores and Jennifer Aiden will be on the show. They will be on the show, whether it's Teresa's show or Housewives, they will be on a show. That's the only prediction I'm gonna make right now. I couldn't believe. Jennifer Aiden, when you came, no, she, she says to me, you know, Je Jennifer Aiden has said this to me. I don't think this is revealing anything. She said when she came on the show, she thought she was going to be best friends with Melissa and that she would hate Teresa. Yeah, how do you like that? So I'm going to say it is authentic because that's the advice you give people. Oh, I think Jennifer Aiden and Teresa are friends. Yeah. I mean, she was, she was there last night with Teresa. She was at Teresa's house. I truly believe that Jennifer and Bill have become very close yeah. with Teresa. The girls trust Jen. Jen went to the Bahamas with them. Jen's a good friend to Teresa. Now, I hope Teresa appreciates it. That's all. Jen is a good I, friend to Teresa. I think I hope she, she might. Appreciates. This might be well, like somehow. I don't, I don't, listen, that's not something that I could say 100%. Because but. Teresa's never appreciated too many friends. You know, I hope that Teresa is going to